I don't usually like talk in these. It's so hard. It's really easy to get in your head doing this. I'm gonna tell you guys a story about how COVID-19 almost destroyed my first deal. So back in early March of 2020, I got a listing, a for sale by owner, uh, right in my hometown, and it was really awesome. I had had listings before, but most of them were co-listings, so it's basically when me and another agent go in on it together, but this one was my very first one all by myself. So for those that don't know, a for sale by owner um, is basically just when a owner is selling their home all by themselves. Um, there's nothing wrong with it, but oftentimes what will end up happening is they'll try to sell it, it won't really go too well, or it might just get a little bit too cumbersome, and then they'll just eventually contact an agent. I had been in touch with them a few months prior uh, while they were throwing everything on the market and doing it for sale by owner. So they eventually just called me up, we got to meet each other, we, we liked each other, and then we decided to work together. So within a week or so, we are under contract, we are good to go, and we're starting our due diligence with an over asking offer, which is awesome. And uh, it's actually not too uncommon with the type of market that I'm in. So now it's time for us to start our due diligence. So that's gonna include the, uh, the buyer's inspections and the buyer's appraisals, and then anything after that at the end to just wrap up the transaction um, and make sure everybody's happy. One of the things that we had to take care of was the skirting around the property. Uh, and then for those that don't know what skirting is, it's basically a wood paneling that goes all the way around the foundation of the home. Um, and in this case, it was a little bit rotted out and there just had to be some places that needed to be replaced. So here's where all the problems start. We couldn't find anybody to come do it for the next two to three weeks. And our closing date was coming up, I believe in less than a week. Uh, so. I really needed to figure out something for us to do because I was not going to let this deal, you know, get pushed back and not close on time. So I decided to put a crew together of me, my dad, and my little brother. Uh, this is kind of obviously not very by the book or not very usual in that sense, but I was at a loss. My dad, my little brother, me, and then one of the sellers, we all decided to work on the place in one day. Um, we were out there around like six o'clock in the morning and we didn't get done around probably like six o'clock that night. Then the inspector came, he said everything was good to go. And we were really happy, really thankful. So the next day I get a call and I'm informed that one of the buyers has lost their job. They have been laid off because of coronavirus. At this point, I'm really worried because I don't know if their financing is gonna go through. Most financings are contingent upon you having a stable job and stable income and just being steady. At this point, I don't really know what to do. I've never run into this. This is my first deal all by myself. I, first of all, have no idea what's going on with the coronavirus and all that nonsense. And then, on top of it, my very first deal is falling apart right in front of my eyes and I don't know how to fix it or solve it or I don't know if, if I can do anything, I don't know what to do. It's just a whole big mess. So I made as many calls as I can and I, I you know, acquired as much information and I figured it out and me and the other party, we ended up figuring it out to where they were able to kind of resubmit everything and say, you know, like, listen, this is just a circumstantial thing. It's obviously not a reflection on us as people or anything like that. Um, and they were eventually able to resecure their finance. Uh, the day of closing, the day of our scheduled closing, which to be honest with you, I was not sure if we were gonna close on that day. Right up until about eight o'clock in the morning when I got the call saying that we were cleared to close and everything was good to go. About four hours before we were actually at the closing table. So I had no idea up until four hours if this deal was gonna happen or not or if we were still in it and still trying to make all the things work. So to sum up everything about that story, it was super crazy, um, but you know, I really did learn a ton about this business in a really short period of time. You know, I think all too often there's a big um, misconception, I, I guess if, if that's the right word, I'm not 100% sure, but there's just this um, huge image of, you know, just like everything in real estate is, is really cool and it's hot and it's sexy and everything like that but and it is but there is also the really really 
tough parts and really difficult things that you have to handle when to be honest with you your job as a real estate agent is to be a professional problem solver and to manage expectations to the best of your ability really when a pandemic hits or when something happens you know that's really out of your control there's really almost nowhere for you to go as a person but also as you know someone running your own business in hindsight looking back I'm very happy that everything happened the way it did if you know things hadn't gotten done on time if we weren't able to secure financing um, if we didn't you know think ahead and actually kind of do anything that it took and everything that we had to do to make sure that it was gonna close on time I know that it wouldn't have closed on time. I know that the deal would have fallen apart and I knew know that everybody would have been screwed for lack of a better word and that would not have been a good way for me to start my career. Thanks for watching my video guys. Thanks for listening and also thank you to everybody who watched my first video. I'm kind of really blown away and surprised on, first of all, it got more than five views. The way it was received, that was awesome. I really appreciate that. Uh, it was really good timing for my closing and my sister getting married. Um, but it was a really cool video that I'm actually really proud of and I can't wait to make some more. So stay tuned for the next one. Thanks, peace.